Hi guys, it's V here. I am back at it again with another hack video and this time it's all about nails. Well, these aren't painted right now, but that's going to change pretty soon. So keep on watching if you want to know my 10 hacks about nails. So all of the nail hacks today are for do-it-yourself at-home manicures. It's not for when you go out to the salon and get it done professionally because then you really don't have a problem because they're going to do it perfectly the first time and there's really no need for hacks. So this is for at home. Hey, you. Are, are you an artist by any chance? Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, I, I can't draw anything. I'm not an artist like that, but I am a very good calligrapher. I can write you a very nice letter, but I can't draw you anything though. So it would be really hard for me to actually do some artistic talent into these little tiny nails. But I do have a hack for that. I try to pretend like I know what I'm doing when it comes to nail art, and all I use is a bobby pin. Yeah one of these. These little guys are actually pretty handy and not only for your hair but also for your nails. So what I do is I dip these into my nail polish and I just simply dot them on my nails very very carefully. Just keep on dotting this everywhere all over your nails and all of a sudden you're an artist. Before moving on to the next hack, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now and more importantly, hit that bell symbol so YouTube will let you know when I come out with a brand new video and every time I upload a brand new video, I hang out with you guys in the comments section for one full hour and replying to your comments so I hope to see you guys there. You know how when your favorite bottle of nail polish is down to the itty bitty bitty drop? Usually I can't ever get those things open because there's all these crust of nail polish all around the rim and when I try to open it, it's just like stuck and it won't come out. Or maybe you don't have a favorite nail polish and this never happens to you, but I bet you at least one time or another have put lotion on your hands and your fingers are just slippery so you can't open anything around you. Well, I have a hack for you and it's super simple. Here's a brand new nail polish that I just got, but let's pretend this is my new favorite and I just can't get this open. So what I do is I just get some rubber bands. Just tie this rubber band on the top. Have it nice and tight. And then this should give you a really good grip to open any nail polish. Of course, you can apply this rubber band trick to any bottle. If you like getting your nails done and like the hacks I have so far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys like it so I can make more videos like this. The more thumbs up I get, the more I know that you guys like these type of videos so I can make more of it for you. I bet I can name a type of chip that you don't like. A nail chip. You probably don't like chipped nails, right? Because you spend your time painting your nails, maybe you did some nail art waiting for it to dry, and then you go wash one thing in the sink and all of a sudden you got that chipped nails for some reason and it just drives you insane because it drives me insane. So a hack that I use to help prevent this from doing is using two base coats. Why did I get all gangster all of a sudden? So the first base coat I applied on the tip of my nail and then the second base coat I will apply it the entire nail. That way the tip of my nail will have an extra layer of base coat so it will chip a lot less. One of the most important things about applying nail polish is probably applying it evenly and smoothly. What you should do every single time you paint your nails is roll your nail polish in the palm of your hand like this. By mixing your nail polish bottle, not only are you warming it up so your nail polish can apply evenly and smoothly, but you're also helping the nail color and also the oil that may have happened to separate if your nail polish has been sitting there for a long time. So doing this simple and very easy motion right before you paint your nails will make your job a lot easier. 
If you're one of those people that love to wear neon bright nail polish, you probably understand that applying like four to five coats is pretty necessary to get that true neon bright colors. Applying four to five coats of nail polish takes a lot of time and we do not have time for that, right girls? No, we don't. There's other things that we'd rather be doing than just sitting there and putting on layers upon layers of nail polish. To speed up this whole entire process is to use white nail polish as your base coat. White base coat will definitely intensify all the colors and you probably only need to apply two to three coats rather than four or five. This also applies to eyeshadow because whenever I wear bright, bright bright eyeshadows, I like to put on a white base and then applying on my bright eyeshadows after that is just so much easier. So white is all right. If you're watching this video for the first time, you might not know about the chipped nail hack that I did a little earlier and now you have a chipped nail. So what do you do? You might ask this question. V, what do I do when I have a chipped nail? Well, all you need to do is add a little glitter. Not jazz hands, glitter. <laughs> That's right, a little glitter will help solve the whole entire problem. I personally do not want to go and remove my nail polish and try to repaint it all over again or just take off my nail polish completely. No, that's not me. I'm too lazy for that and I just want a quick solution. What I do is I find my glitter and apply it on to the chip nail part and then I will apply it to the rest of my hands so it will be uniform and it will hide on my chip nails. So when you're done painting your nails and if you're a little fancy you probably did some nail art. So you want to preserve this nail art, nail polish, manicure as long as you can. What you need to do is do not forget to apply the top coat. And when applying the top coat most people will only apply it to obviously the top of the nails but you also should be applying it to the bottom of your nails the non-cuticle side so you want to go in the top and bottom this way your whole entire nail a hundred percent of it is covered with top coat so you are protected your manicures will last a lot longer and you'll just be a lot happier you paint your nails a lot or you just one of those people like myself who likes to wear dark nail colors you most likely will have dark nails also good thing there is a solution for that what you need to do to whiten your nails after removing a really dark color soak your nails in a bowl of hot water hydrogen peroxide and baking soda leave your nails in there for one full minute or if you have a more of an intense darkness leave it on for several more minutes I'm one of those people that like to paint my nails later on at night because it's kind of a relaxing ritual for me and then I go to bed right after that and it just it just feels nice but but it does not feel nice the next morning when I wake up and I see all these smudges on my perfectly well manicured hand. And there is a reason why that is happening. Now a lot of nail polish out there is B3F. That, that just sounds so wrong. B3F actually stands for free from formaldehyde, DBP, and Tulene. If your nail polish is 3BF and your top and base coat is not B3F, this is the problem to the smudges on your fingernails. All the layers of your nail polish should be B3F or not at all. That means your base coat, nail polish color, and top coat should be B3F. Painting your nails is awesome, right? Getting it done just feels so nice. But when you just finish painting your nails, all you wanna do is get those babies dry as fast as you can. And that's just one of the things that I hate the most about doing my nails, it's waiting for it to dry. To speed up this process, what I do is I get a bowl of ice cold water and then I stick my hands that's just freshly painted into the bowl. I'm a cold baby and I get cold very frequently, so I actually have a very hard time putting my fingers in the ice bath for more than 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah I can't do it more than 30 seconds so what I do is I still leave my fingers in there for a total of two minutes but I leave it in there for 30 seconds I take it out and take a break and then I put it in there for another 30 seconds leave your nails in there for two minutes and it should be dry if you use two or three coats on your nails you probably have to leave your nails in there for about three minutes instead of two it will take a little longer because it's a lot thicker you seem to like hack videos so I think you would like this video right here or or you can check out this video right here you probably will like both of them I'm a little biased because you know I did make them myself so I, I think they're both good and if you want to hang out with me on a daily basis make sure to follow me on Instagram have a wonderful day and I will see you next time bye